Here we have a Bunsen burner. The Bunsen burner is used to heat chemicals and equipment in the chem lab. The way the Bunsen burner works is the gas travels into the burner through this chamber here and is the height is determined by the gas valve down here which usually turns. Up here is the stem which you turn to determine the type of flame such as yellow or blue. It determines the heat. And in order to get this into its correct working position, you must first turn the gas valve one full revolution and have the stem turned just so that you can barely see a little air there so that it's about barely open. And you will have a tube fitted on the end here. It should be snugly on so that it doesn't just easily come off. And then that is also hooked into the gas. I'm going to tell you how to light a Bunsen burner. First, like when always working with fire, you need your goggles. And then you need to hook this hose up to the gas outlet valve. You need to make sure it's on there snug. Then, to actually light it, you need a striker. The way you use a striker is you kind of place your hands right around where the bends are, and you got to take your thumb and push in, and then you squeeze with the other hand. So then when it works, you get a nice spark. Then, you have a friend turn on the gas. And right when he turns on the gas, you want to start and hold it about an inch over to strike. And then there, it's the proper way to light a button. All right, now we're going to talk about adjusting the different type of flame. First of all, when adjusting the size of the flame, we want to always remember to use this bottom gas valve, not the valve back here where the gas comes out of the system. We, that either needs to be on or off. This is where we adjust. So if we would screw it in, our flame is going to get a lot smaller. If we screw it out, it gets a lot bigger. To adjust more of the type of flame, we want to use the stem. Uh, more luminous flame, we want to screw it in, which will lower the amount of oxygen getting into the gas. So we're going to get a very yellow flame, which looks like that. It's very luminous. To get your standard flame, you want to use this gas valve to make it about two inches high. And then you want to increase the oxygen level. So that's going to allow air down here. And you get your about two inch high inside the blue flame, where the hottest part is right at the top there. And that's your hottest part of the flame, and that's your, what you're called standard flame. 